During the 1940s to 1950s, they were experimenting with computers and seeing what they could do and came up with a program, a mathematical game called NIMP. Here with Video Productions, um, I'm not sure I'm the best equipped to answer these questions since I don't really play games anymore. <laughs> um, but what are the pros and cons to gaming? Um, if if you do the research, gaming is a multi-million dollar industry, probably almost in the billions right now. So for a lot of people, a lot of kids that grew up playing games and um, were into like the scene of gaming, um, it was kind of cool because it allowed them a platform to actually make a decent income and a professional. So I think that's a good aspect is that it's giving people an option for a profession, which is good for some kids. Um, how do how does gaming affect people in a positive way? Um, well, it, there's pros and cons to everything being online. The pros to it is that it gives kids a social outlet. Um, I didn't realize it until recently, like in the last recently, like in the last five years, that a lot of kids have like social interactions with other kids from around the world while gaming. So that's kind of cool because it gives them like an outlet to be able to communicate and. and you know, talk to other kids from across the world. So that's kind of cool that I thought was interesting. But um, my opinion overall on gaming is like anything else that's, I guess, considered like a hobby. You know, it just depends on the moderation of the usage. So if someone's using something to an excess, it could be anything. You know, it could be riding a motorcycle, playing guitar, um, editing videos. You know, if you're spending your entire day doing that, I think that's a pretty unhealthy outlet. Um, and the same thing can be concerned with like gaming. I think, you know, if you do things as a hobby and you're doing it, you know, maybe like an hour out of the day, I think that's fine. But you have to have like a moderation level. And that's something that a lot of kids don't have. That's something that kids have to be taught. So I think it's, it's important for parents to be able to have that conversation with their kids that, um, that they have to be able to explain to their, you know, their kids that gaming is fun, but we can't be doing this in, in the, course of like taking up activity time for other stuff like homework or schooling or sports or being outside and things like that I think those are also healthy things so you know it's just one of those things that you got to find a healthy balance what are the pros and cons to gaming the pros are that you get to connect with people that are like outside you like your like the people that you're in contact with. Like you get to make more friends that way. And then like cons is that most video games, like most of the popular video games are violent. And it could leave like a bad impact on kids. But also it's fun. So. How does gaming affect people in a positive and or negative way? Uh, it allows people to express themselves better if they're like online instead of like in person talking to people. And like, how it could, I don't know, video games can maybe like set like a unhealthy like standard for like how characters are meant to look and how things are meant to be. But I don't think so. Thank you. What are the pros and cons to gaming? Pros and cons to gaming, I would say the pros are you can go meet people from around the world, even though you don't have to see meet them in person. But the cons are you get isolated and stuff happens. Like if you're getting cyberbullied, then you can go get hurt. What's your favorite video game? I don't necessarily have a favorite video game. Uh. What do you think is the better console? I prefer Xbox over the PS4 or any others, but I do, I, to me, they're both Okay, thank you.
Thank you.